Welcome back to Mike Ships. This is kind of like the the staging area of where I am, what I'm doing. Um, where I am and what I'm doing is bringing endurance into the game. I want to be able to compete better than I am at the moment. Uh, I might be able to do a bit better with the squad selection. But current meta dictates this guy. been so reluctant to do this I just so wanted my dark side to be able to be competitive and the ships are there to do it it's just the ones that are there that kind of round it off you can't get high enough so that's endurance maxed out um, this is a dual part because finally I'm going to ap ap uh, activate my tie advanced confirm enhance ouch Bang. Fortunately, I can also um, upgrade him a bit as well. So, do I have enough? I never know on these. I haven't checked to see what there is actually available in... GG actually on ships, I should do. Okay, so what am I doing? Inflict evasion, inflict evasion down and ability block on target enemy for two turns, then gain 25% turn meter for each debuff on the enemy. Cool. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict target lock for two turns. This attack can't be resisted or evaded. Target lock, inflict dam, inflict two, oh. two damage over time effects for three turns. All right. That is him maxed up. 808. 808 state. Wow. Wow. 56,000 in health. Just under 14,000 in protection. 154 on speed. It's a Vader, not a Zeta. And I could probably put some... Um, deploy some gear. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can. However, what I do know I can do is I can now upgrade this ship. So now if we go into the stats, still 808. Health's increased to 60,000, 15,000 on protection. Speed's jumped a bit there, didn't it? 158, nice. Right. So that is endurance and... 
Where is he? My Tay advanced and my Tay advanced. All done. Uh, I'm going to return in two ticks with a battle to try it out. 